It is a truth universally acknowledged, but every now and again a situation arises that defies explanation. And so it was with the ascension of the Third Street Saints. When the Saints made their presence known to the world in 2006, they were decried for being pretenders to the throne. The people were confused. Were the Saints sociopathic killing machines hell-bent on destruction? Or puckish rogues living a life of mirth and whimsy? The Saints needed clarity of purpose, and so the course was set. More fun, less mercy killing. This simple choice revitalized the Saints, transforming them from a degenerate street gang into beloved pop culture icons. But even then, the Saints were not satisfied. For it's one thing to be revered as a hero, it is another to be a hero. And that, my friends, is where our journey begins. We need to move. You're a real people person, aren't you? I'm sorry, is this a counter-terrorist operation or a Saints flow shoot? I'm Sean. Ashiro Dakar, follow me. We're here. to be all business. We know what's at stake. Do you? Look, lady, this motherfucker knows how to get shit done. Don't you worry about me. What's security? My tech guy brought us a ten-minute window. If we move fast, we'll only need to worry about the guards on foot. How many of those are there? Don't know about the numbers inside, but there are about eight marching the perimeter. On my signal, we... Subtlety is not really our thing. Come on, this way. Base, are you there? What are we walking into? I'm looking at suggest. Hold on. Hide. Truck on its way. Wait a minute. Your hammer is... Was that Matt Miller? Kinsey, be nice. But seriously, what the hell? Matt Miller is a brilliant attacker, a venerated agent of MI6, and a key member of our operation. And the fact that he tried to kill us. What's past is past. We are all working together now. Let's focus on the job. As I was saying... Hold that thought, Matt. Guards ahead. Hold position. Let's take him out quietly.
Matt, you were saying? The nuke is stashed deep in the compound. It's likely primed and ready to go. Getting booted from the U.S. sent Cyrus Temple off the deep end, but teaming up with terrorists? Seriously? And we're in. Get my back. You should be nearing the missile. Cyrus' soldiers everywhere, so be alert. Gotta hate this guy. Take it personal. Why would I should have killed you in Steelport? Well maybe take it personal. You ruined Steelport! Ruined America! Monologuing. Our leaders failed America by letting you live! Time to destroy Washington and start over! Nothing can stop me now! Especially you! Uh -huh. Cyrus has seriously lost it. Come with me. You two go through that door. On. Let's see how you can handle yourself, Mr. Celebrity. We'll be on mic. Handle myself? Shit. I can handle myself. You should be really close to the missile silo now. Stay alert. Cyrus is such a bird when it comes to security. No sign of the target, but we're looking at a stockpile of explosives and chemicals here. I can't tell what kind. It's explosives and chemicals, lady. What else you need to know? Yo, we're here. The target is just ahead. Target's in the next room. Damn it! Once and for all! You're not leaving here! Best to just give up!
understand your method, but there's no one I'd rather follow into battle. You said, hey, Piz, how would you like to be the face of the saints? And I was all, I, I, oh, oh man. Any idea you would be so willing to sacrifice yourself to save the world? I suppose I wouldn't have tried to kill you. Well, we just met, but, um, you seem, you know, nice. The war has disabled, but it's still moving fast. This is a problem. It's not a problem. You alienated part of America. I alienated crazy people. You couldn't resist, could you? Jeez, it's not you two. This is a problem. I keep trying to explain that, but the president won't listen. Poverty is a problem. Apartheid is a problem. This, this is just a couple of... Here's the latest approval poll. We lost 20 points. We can get them back. They're at 20 points. I'll admit that's a little lower than anticipated. So you agree you have a problem? Nope, you do. You're the communications director. Fix this. Can you give me 100% employment? No. Will you get married? Fuck no. Then I'm thinking you're in trouble. King, can, can you have this naysayer assassinated? Not when you say it publicly. No more fun as a gang leader. We have a country to run. Fun isn't part of the equation. There's a septic truck when you need one. Oh, I hope Keith has some good news. Worst part of this job? Press conferences. Listen, we've got enough clout right now for one major bill, not both. What do you want me to push forward? Do you want to be the president who cured cancer or the president who solved world hunger? As for hunger, mm, tell the kitchen to fix me a smoothie. Good choice. I hope Kinsey's got the peanut gallery handled. Now, you listen here. If you think you can cram your agenda past Congress, you are in for a rude awakening. You hear me? Now, let me tell you a little something about the greatest word in politics. Filibuster. Allow me to retort. Hey, Doris, we still playing tennis later? Oleg and I are about to head over to Camp David to watch some Nightblade. Yep. You down? I'll uh, catch up with you later, Josh. I'm your number one! Nice work, Oleg. <laughs> nice. <sighs> the president's words were taken out of context. Kinsey, what's the right context for? And I quote, I'm the patron saint of America. We should probably look into changing the Pledge of Allegiance to one nation under me. That's a great question. Jane? I think we have a problem. 
Oh, not you two. How many times do I have Asha to... Asha and Miller are waiting for you in the Oval Office. If MI6 needed something, they would send it up the chain, not fly across an ocean. They said nobody back home believes them. Jesus, what's going on? They think we're about to be attacked by aliens. I gotta go. This is serious. You know that Kinsey's been saying the same thing. When did you start taking Kinsey seriously? When the people who helped us save the world said we should. All right. I'll swing by after I... Salvation within the Zin Empire. I'm smarter than all these people. Delightful. Kissy, no! Protect the president! I do love your spirit, my dear. I'm Zinyak. Pleasure to meet you. Would you like to join me for a ride? Guns. Lots of them. Reports are coming in from all over. I told them I wanted a gun in every room. And two in every hallway. Good girls kick ass. There you are. Thank God you're all right. You okay? Where's Matt? Upstairs. Trying to find out what's happening. What is happening? All out war by the looks of it. I'm meeting up with Matt. I'll be in touch via comm. Be careful. Ooh, look at you, Second Amendment solutions. Oh, beautiful, beautiful guns. Come on, this way! What the fuck? Keith! of you are there. Bert to Ernie. Bert to Ernie. Activate South Portico defenses. Let's do this, you gorgeous thing. That went well. Come and get it! I'll shoot every one of you out of the sky. Gang. 
snatched my cabinet. You think you can come here and fuck with my country? This is for later. This one's for Uncle Sam. This one's just because I want to. Enjoy leaping so much. Get off my lawn, you son of a bitch! You didn't count on me, did you? Well, hello there. Welcome aboard. I'm gonna have you stuffed and mounted, you alien fuck. Now, now. Not so far. Say goodbye. What? Oh, shit! <laughs> Did you really think you could stop me? Shit! Oh, human arrogance. Is there anything more charming? Fucking him! Oh, I'm gonna... Do what exactly? Huh? Bravado me to death? <laughs> I'm going to have fun breaking you. Hey, what? Goodness me, what a dream. What a glorious day! <laughs> Morning, dear. I made your favorite breakfast. Mr. King from across the street is going out of town for a few weeks. He was wondering if you could check his mail for him. Oh, and your friend Pierce called. I'm sure he has some crazy new get-rich scheme. Oh, that Pierce. Such a card. And someone named Dex stopped by earlier. I didn't recognize him, so I just sent him away. I think I heard Timmy deliver the paper earlier. Could you fetch it, dear? Sure thing! I did a eye, neighbor. I wonder what.
What's new in the world today? You ready to meet the fine people of Steelport? Well, <laughs> get in the car. Wait, don't I usually drive? It's your world. Go ahead. Boy, they sure are anxious to meet you. They? <laughs> well, you do have a queer sense of humor. Is it just me, or does everything look kind of weird? Now, what's that you say? Just a nagging feeling like this is all... Can't wait to get out to the lake this weekend. I hear the fish are really biting. The fish are... Huh? What are you talking about? Don't you worry now. We're almost there. Careful now. Well, here we are. Why don't you glad hand a bit? We got time. <laughs> My toe. Can I get a picture? Aw, thank you kindly. Looks like it's time. Your public is waiting. Oh my stars, it's the president! Hi, how are... What the f***? We don't use that kind of language here in Steelport. What kind of sh** are you f***ing trying to fool? Away from here. Hello? Hello? Kinsey? What is this? Kinsey, where are you? Finally! Listen to me. No time to explain, but you have to break free. Break free from what, Kinsey? The place you're in isn't real. Whatever it's having you do, you need to stop. What? I'm just driving. Okay, good. There's a park nearby. Head there and give me a sec. Was it too much for you? Brace yourself. Brace for Jesus H. I wish I had a driver. I need some more time before I can get you out. It would be really helpful if you could just, you know, just be you. Be me? The simulation is all about normalcy. Pleasantry, order, all the things you hate. Go forth. Unleash hell. That was fun. Be 
find the cat fountain. I left you a present. Gosh, this is swell. No problem. You're doing great. The simulation is... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. What, what's going on, Kinsey? enough alone, could you? You had to push and push and push. I hope you've enjoyed your last moments. Couldn't last any longer than that. I'm impressed. Where the hell are- oh, Fuck me. I should have realized a prison of peace would never hold a sociopath like yourself. I'm more of a puckish rogue. A rose by any other name. Are you trying to kill me or sleep with me? Charming. See, there you go with those mixed messages again. Then allow me to be perfectly clear. I am the architect of your reality. I build what I want. I destroy what I want. And your bravado means nothing. Pointless, my friend. There's nowhere to run. You belong to me. Now, on to more pleasant things. I'm going to place you in your new home. Try to run again, and I'll destroy your pitiful planet. Did you ever? Each of you are guilty of crimes against the Zin Empire. But today is your lucky day. Today, you get to be a part of a new work release program. Swear your fealty, and I will empower you to be Wardens of Simulation 31. You will have one purpose. Torment the President of the United States. Beyond that, the world is yours to toy with. Ravage it. Indulge in your basest desire. It makes no difference to me. Just leave the prisoner alive. I want them broken. Not dead. Go now and tear their world asunder. different. Now, where am I? Come in, President. Can you hear me? Oh, I hear you all right. Only, uh, how am I hearing you, considering I don't have a phone? I just patched myself into your simulation and projected my voice through the audio system. You should be able to hear me from anywhere. And you don't have to yell. Okay, because you chattering in my skull isn't annoying. Kinsey, I'm unarmed. Get me out now. I can't do that until I backtrace your signal to your physical body. Until then, you're stuck there, so you might want to go buy a gun. Great. Retail therapy at Friendly Fire. <laughs> 